Well, hello everybody. This is Bill Keller with Bailey, and we have another product demo here for you today. This is products in our MVP line of products, motors, pumps, and valves. And this one we're dealing with today is motors. These are our BM series motors here at Bailey. Now, some of these motors are used in conveyor type of applications. So you would take this if you had a wood processor, or you had something that you wanted to move along a conveyor. You can take these motors and, and actually have them in kind of a series. So you could have, so this could, this particular one could be on the front side of it and it would run that belt and then it would go to another motor and another motor and another motor. That's, that's what these little BM series motors are great at. Motors are what we call actuators when it comes to hydraulics. An actuator is at the very end of the line typically. And what an actuator does is it takes the energy from the oil and it transfers that energy into kinetic energy. So like a cylinder would take that oil and it would transfer it to linear force, right? A hydraulic motor takes that same energy and transfers it to rotary force, otherwise known as torque. So what this motor is gonna do is oil is gonna come in on one side of it. It's going to spin this little, uh, and I can't spin it, but it's going to spin this little rotor inside of this motor here and it's going to turn this shaft on the back side or on the front side of this motor you're seeing the back side it's going to turn this shaft and then that shaft will turn a wheel or a hub or whatever you need to turn on your hydraulic system so this particular type of motor is called a G rotor motor, G E R O T O R. And why it's a G E rotor motor is because it has this little rotor inside here. Motors and gear pumps are very similar. And so you can ask yourself, well, can I use a gear pump as a motor? And the answer is yes, you absolutely can. But is that the right tool for the job? Because gear pumps are meant to pull oil and then push oil out of the other side of it, right? Motors are meant to take oil in and transfer that to the shaft and output torque, okay? Two totally different functions. A gear pump can be used as a motor, but it's not the most efficient use of that pump, especially if you want to take motors and plumb them in series. So you have a motor here, you have a line going into this motor and a line coming out of this motor and you want to put another one downstream, you can do that with these motors. They can handle the pressure on both sides of this. A gear pump can't, it can only handle pressure on one side of it. These motors are also what's called bi-rotational. You can spin the shaft clockwise or counterclockwise. So right tool for the job if you need to torque or rotary force on whatever it is you're going to use, you're going to want to use a motor instead of a pump. Okay, got it? Now, again, this is a G rotor type of motor until you add these little roller bearings. And so these little roller bearings, as this motor spins, right, it's going to ride along in here and this, this is going to spin, it's going to spin the shaft. But now, if you insert these little roller bearings, right, I've got, I've got seven of them, and those, I'm not going to insert them all, but what it does here now is instead of this hub kind of bouncing around in here, it's going to ride along these rotor bearings, kind of going to, kind of going to glide along through here. Now what it does is, is these help support this shaft, right? Keeps it a little bit more centered. Also, it makes it a little bit more efficient. When you add these little bearings in here, these little roller bearings, this turns into a G roller type of motor. Very, very efficient, and they are the right tool for the job. These motors come in many different displacements. This is the BM1 series. This is the small guy. We go up from here, okay? We can find a motor that's gonna suit you. Give us a call in our MVP center, or call our tech line at Bailey, and we can help you find the exact motor that you're gonna need 
for whatever application you have. All right, well, that's all the time I've got. Uh, until next time, take care.